The first time I heard about the Hyundai Pony, I was immediately hooked. My name is uh, Micha Dijkhuizen, and I own a 1983 uh, Hyundai Pony, and it's supposedly the only running one left in Western Europe. So this particular pony was owned by my friend Rob before I got it. Uh, he owned it for a couple of years. When he wanted to sell the pony, he said that I would be the perfect next owner to take care of it, to enjoy it. And we also have the same image about how a classic should be treated. It should not be in the garage all the time. You should enjoy it and drive it and have fun with it. So when I first got a car, I was super excited. It was not completely perfect condition, so I took a couple of weeks to get it technically perfect. And then I was able to just enjoy it, drive it around, and I realized that it now really was mine to enjoy and take care of. The biggest pleasure of owning a car for me is actually the maintenance. It just gives me a lot of joy to be able to repair and make things myself. It's a big learning curve and you're always excited when you start on a new project and you finish it off successfully. Of course, the driving is also a lot of fun, uh, but it's not the essence of owning a car for me. What makes the design of the Pony iconic in my eyes is the fact that it's the first car built by Hyundai and the fact that they, you can really see the intentions of the designer to build a very robust, reliable car and that can last a long time. When people see the pony on the street, they react uh, very differently. Some people don't even recognize it. They just see it as an old car. Uh, but a lot of people also recognize it from the past, that they knew someone who had a pony because it was sold quite well here. They either had an uncle or a brother or a neighbor that had a pony at that time. And now it being so rare, they haven't seen one for years. I even got some offers from Korea to, from people to buy the pony. They wanted to uh, ship it to Korea and enjoy it there because there's not many left in Korea even. As a daily job, I work at Royal Schiphol Group, uh, the largest airport of the Netherlands. I work there as an innovator. So we basically focus on innovating towards a more sustainable, more autonomous, more efficient airport, which might sound a bit weird, driving classic cars and um, caring about sustainability, uh, but I just feel like it connects well together. Maintaining an old car is also keeping up the car as long as possible, so you don't have to buy a new one. I always saw Hyundai as quite a generic brand, but just having the pure joy of owning this car, I changed my mind. And also, now the Ionic 5 is out, I really feel that they're moving into a new chapter, a futuristic chapter where they get different people excited about mobility and electric cars in general. Seeing the Ionic 5 for the first time, I immediately fell in love. I could see some clear similarities between the Pony and the Ionic 5. Uh, for example, some sharp lines or the backlights that resemble one another. And also, for example, the sloped back tailgate. It's just, it, it has so many similarities in that sense that I really think they, they fit well together. Comparing the Ionic 5 to the Hyundai Pony is comparing like two different worlds. But I can see similarities. It immediately captures my eye that the interior is very open and very light. Just like the Pony, it has a lot of glass around you. Of course, the Ionic 5 has a lot of modern features that the Pony doesn't have. But actually, I think there's nothing that I would really change about the Pony because it's the charm of having a classic car.
one of my dreams is to do a big uh, road trip around Europe, and I think the Pony would be the perfect candidate for that. It's reliable, it's roomy, it's such a joy to drive. I would not consider selling the Pony, but I never say never, you know. It's just, I've had it for so long, it would be hard to let go. Thank you.